completely autonomous. So as you can see, down here, the vehicle is detecting as four radar sensors, one in each corner of the vehicle. It's got three cameras up here, which detects road signs, traffic lights. Well, on this vehicle, actually no traffic lights yet. The software is not integrated into this vehicle. So it's 100% reliant on the, the driver to acknowledge traffic lights. It acknowledges the speed limit signs. So with an adaptive cruise, it will automatically adjust your vehicle's speed based on the speed limit that you set. Um, it acknowledges if there's a vehicle in front of you and it detects braking based on how the distance that you set in the vehicle. And it will attempt to, uh, you know, get to the speed limit. However, if the vehicles are in front of you, it won't um, fill the gap. It will keep a distance, safe distance between vehicles. I have it set at the maximum setting, so there's a big gap between me and the car in front. And that keeps me, you know, confident and lets me really drive the vehicle and to see how far ahead it'll go, what limits it'll have. Because even with braking, because there's so much inputs on this vehicle coming in, it's not like the Tesla um, detection system, whereas it reads humans and dogs, cats, it, it'll, know, it'll know exactly everything and it's a learning algorithm. So it's gonna consistently learn patterns, behaviors, everything. This isn't a cut and dry system. These vehicles are learning your driving habits, human driving habits, driving patterns, maneuvering, everything. So there will be accidents. There will be things in the news that will deter you, but these things are learning as they go. See? And the vehicle warned me to put my hands on the wheel because something just crazy just happened. Now, I don't trust the algorithm regarding motorcycles. I haven't really seen it work too well, especially how erratic that they drive around here. They'll cut you off. They will come on your blind spot and trip that and then back off and then go in it. So around motorcycles, I really don't um, trust it too well as of yet. But local driving, it cruises as low as 15 miles an hour. So you can use it actually local driving, but regarding turns, it's not 100%. Regarding um, um, intersections, it's not 100% either, especially because of the red light. It doesn't acknowledge red lights like the Tesla would. Um, all right. Well, thanks for driving. See you soon.